before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know that only 2.5% of you guys watching my videos are actually subscribed, so please consider subscribing. Yo, what's going on guys? It's T-Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing a Clash Royale tier list video of all the cards. Um, so here we are. We're going to get started. These are all sorted for me. And um, we're going to pop Wizard right in the B tier. He's pretty average. Doesn't do anything special. Uh, can get easily countered. Expo, gonna go B tier as well. Solid, can get some damage, but takes a bit of skill. Zap's gonna go C. It's all right. Zappies, everyone says they're so underrated, but they're, they're not, they're, they're D, they're D. Get them out of it. Battle healer, get out of it. Straight enough, straight enough. Battle Ram could do with a buff. I know the Barbarians, they get a buff. Yeah, we're gonna put him in C. Um, does what it's supposed to, I guess. Bomb Tower's pretty solid. We're gonna go for a B on that one. Can get some pretty good damage in, it's got a lot of health. And uh, so like that. Go to Bomber. Bomber's definitely gonna go B tier. A lot of damage, cheap elixir. Oh, bowler, A tier. Can counter E-barbs with ease. Um, one of the main win conditions right now. Right, cannon, S tier. So much damage, so cheap. So, I don't know, it's just too good. Cannon car, everyone's says it's amazing it's c it's it's all right never seems to work for me uh clone normal i mean it works in challenges maybe d or bit of d it's, it's all right dark prince a tier amazing always seems to get some value same with dark goblin can just get insane damage can get countered easily to be fair but insane damage archers another overrated card definitely overrated earthquake was good now it's just it's all right it's okay Bro, Electro Giant needs a buff. Put it in F tier. It's so bad. It hits hit speed, hit points, anything. Uh, Electro Giant did get buffed. We're going to put him in C. He, he's solid. He, he does he gets, does what he's supposed to. Electro Spirit is so overrated. Oh, he was definitely B. Really solid card. E Barbs. They're pretty overrated, but they can be good in some situations. We're going to put him B. By the way, I'm not ranking them in each category, I'm just putting them in the categories. So, Wizard, like for example, it's not better than Ebobs, but that's just the order I had them in. Elixir Pump did get a buff. We're gonna go C, it's, it's okay. I'm not the greatest. Elixir Golem literally works in like two decks, um, and if you use them, then what are you doing? Uh, Executioner, go B, it's pretty solid, a lot of health for a, uh, a card like that. Fire Spit, very good, can get a lot of damage, splash damage, all that stuff. Arrows, so C, it is solid, it gets the job done. Fireball, S tier, Fireball is so much value, so good. Firecracker, uh, probably gonna go A. So, uh, actually no, B, it is, it's easily countered unless you don't have a counter. Um, Fisherman, oh my god, I love Fisherman, he, he's good, he's going in, he's going in B. He good, he's good if you know how to use him, if you're a high school player. Fly Machine, Gonna put you in B, can get value, but not great. Freeze, B, D, uh, it works sometimes. Furnace, B, solid. Uh, if you don't have a counter, it can be deadly, annoying. Um, giant on its own, pretty, pretty average. Uh, obviously with Graveyard, works well. Uh, giant Skeletons did just get a buff. We're gonna put him in B tier, he's definitely pretty solid. Um, Snowball, yeah, it's it's a pretty underrated card. I can't lie, this is an actual underrated card. Goblin Barrel, definitely A tier. If you don't have a counter or your hounds out of cycle, like log bait, uh, yeah, it's gonna do as damage. Baby Dragon is so overrated, barely any health, barely any damage, barely any splash damage. Actually, you know what? Get get him B. He's so overrated. Goblin Cage is good, but it doesn't counter the Hog Rider, which is just S tier. Uh, I'm just going to put it up here, just because I've just said it. Um, definitely S tier right now. It's very, very um, just high damage, high health, too fast, really. Goblin Drill, B, good get enough, but I mean, no, nah, let's say A. It, it, it's still good, it's still good. Right, here we go, Goblin Gang. Goblin Gang, probably just going to put it in C, honestly. I've been using this card for about a year in my main deck, and it just... The guards are so much better, but I don't have them leveled up. Guard, guards are definitely uh, S tier. Guards are amazing. Goblin Giant, same thing. You're using it in my deck, but it doesn't get the job done. It's really not great. I just have it myself. 
Uh, Spear Goblin Hut can be amazing or it can be just utter shit. So uh, let's put it in C. Uh, goblins, pretty, kind of can be good, but again, C, they're not, they're all right. Golem B, it, it, it works if you don't have a proper counter, you don't have a building, you don't have a fisherman or something. But if, if you do have a counter, you, fisherman, you can kind of counter it really. Graveyard, very solid. It's going to go A tier. It's been solid for years. Uh, recently, a lot of people have been using it. Heal Spirit, F tier, bro. Get him out. He's so bad. Uh, balloon, I'm probably going to go C. It can be easily countered, but if you leave it alone, especially with a Lumberjack or a Freeze or a Rage, can be pretty deadly. Hunter, very underrated. Definitely B. Ice Golem is definitely A tier. No, I I'm going to say S tier, but it's S tier, but it doesn't need a nerf. Like, it's strong, but it doesn't need a nerf. It it's good. Ice Spirit needs a nerf, bro. It, does it freezes for so long. 1.3 what seconds. What are they thinking? It it's too long. It's too long. Right, Ice Wizard. Um, Kind of overrated. I can't lie. He's B. He's B. We've just got to stick him in B. Right, Inferno Dragon, pretty good, can do tanks, but he very easily countered with Skeletons, Ice Spirit, one Alexa cards can counter it. Uh, yeah, B, Inferno Tower, I'm probably going to stick this in B again, yeah, it, it gets the job done, but it's not great. Um, high health though, to be fair, it, it, yeah, it's decent. Knight is a C, everyone's like, oh, Knight's great, ah, okay, B. everyone says he's good, but overrated, I think. Um... Lava Hound. Oh, it's it's very good. I'm gonna put it in a. It's. I remember when it came out, it was average, but now it's just ridiculous. The amount of people playing Lava Loon and uh, especially in top ladder, uh, some people in mid ladder uh, as well. Lightning solid, but uh, I'll put it B. It doesn't kill like Witch or stuff. It kills Musketeer. Um, don't think it, it kills Wizard. I think, or it might not. Uh, let me let me know down below. Um, here we go, Bandit. Bandit is very good for a very cheap Elixir. So we're going to put in A tier. There we go. Pretty solid. Lumberjack. Oh, I'm going to stick this in B. It's solid on its own. No, it's C. It's okay on its... Ah, uh, okay. We'll stick with B. We'll stick with B. It's solid on its own. Obviously, it works very well with Balloon. You guys know a couple of other cards, but on its own, it's not great. Magic Archer. Whenever I use it, it seems to be awful. Whenever our opponent uses it, it seems to be amazing. I'm going to put it in C. Uh, not, not, not good opinions on this guy. Mega Knight. Uh, the mid ladder menace. Now, uh, everyone... I know if you're a low ladder, mid ladder, you're going to disagree. But I think it's C. It's very easily countered, obviously. It carries a lot of people to their wins. Uh, but I'm not a fan, right? Mega Minion. We're going to stick Mega Minion... Probably in B. He's solid. He doesn't have much health, but he does a lot of damage. Minor broke. D. He's so bad. Like he, he can tank, but everyone's saying nerf minor. It, I know it's kind of a dead joke now. It's it wasn't even that funny ish. And uh, yeah, get him out. Get him out. He, he's he's not great. He's not good at all. Mini Pekka, a bit overrated. Can be countered easily. We're gonna put him C. Minion Horde, right, it, this is either the best card in the game or the worst card in the game, depending on uh, if you have a counter or not. I'm pretty sure someone might have said that on Reddit or something like that. Um, Minion Horde is going to go and see. It, it's, yeah, most people have Fireball or Sap or it's something like that. Minions, I think they're better. Well, I think they're better, but they're still C. We're just going to put them above Minions, and I said I wasn't doing that. But just because for those two because they're pretty similar mirror oh my god it's so good i love mirror six level 16 cards it's ridiculous mortar uh so overrated everyone's going oh mortar's like the best card nerf it or it's gonna get nerfed like it, it's really not it's it's awful it does like 250 damage for a maxed out hit on the tower and it gets countered so easily it gets countered for like one elix and then a little turn anyway barb barrel don't know why this got nerfed. Like it wasn't even that good in my opinion. Uh, oh. But it, it's still. I guess it's still good. It can counter Goblin Drill better now that it has a nerf. Um, and it's placed and the Goblin Drill is placed behind the tower and you can come down from the back because it doesn't go as far. It's closer to the drill. Uh, you kind of have to see an example to understand that. Mother Witch. I haven't actually really played around or seen the buff. Um, I saw a video. I haven't really used it. But before the before the buff, D after the buff. We'll say beta. It's it's solid. I've seen it. Uh, Musketeer. Oh my god. A get 
get get an A. It, it it does so much damage. It's so so much damage. It's ridiculous. Night Witch. Um, probably just gonna put this in C. Like the Death Bats killed her. Oh, I can't lie. I know it got buffed, but Death Bats killed her. Pekka is very easily countered. Cheap cycle cards, but can be good. No, we're no, we're going to see. see. Poison, um, solid card. Counter graveyard, basically completely. Obviously, it take maybe a little bit of damage, um, and can kill like Mother Witch, Magic Arch, stuff like that. Prince, definitely C tier. You see, they're really good if you don't have a counter, or just a shocking if you don't. If you do have a counter, Princess, very solid, but it's B. It's, it's not the best. Uh, Rage, get out of here. You're definitely D. Why would you choose the late Rage? Get a free Rage on the lumber, Lumberjack. Ram Rider is pretty bad. It's pretty easily countered by cannon or like a log and an ice spirit or something. Three elixir cards. Um, Rascals, pretty decent. I uh, don't see them used a lot, like at all, but they're good. Um, Barbarian Heart has been... I mean, I know the Barbarian's got buff, but Barbarian Heart has been awful for just ages. Rocket, we're going to go A. It does a lot of damage. Uh, obviously, it only works in certain situations. Raw delivery, definitely an S tier. It's so good. It does so much damage. Uh, Royal Ghost got nerfed, but I honestly think that nerf was needed to be held. Uh, definitely S tier. More well, okay, it's A tier. It's very annoying to go against it goes invisible. I know they delayed it with the nerf of an update. That changed a couple of days ago, but it's still I'm very annoying to go against. Royal Giant, uh, play against a few, I was playing a bit of ladder earlier, I mean like challenge 2-1 uh, after the season reset, and a lot of people were using him and he was getting da damage but pretty easily countered, B tier. Pigs, uh, I'm going to go C tier, they get countered very easily but if you don't really have a good counter, they're pretty bad. Pretty bad. Sorry, they're good if you don't have a good counter, but uh, Royal Recruits, definitely going C. They're, they're good in Triple Elixir and they work in some decks, like two decks. Skeleton Army, very good in low ladder. Everyone uses it um, from like Arena 1 to Arena 6, let's say, or maybe 8, I don't know. Uh, Skeleton Barrel, don't really see a lot of use on this card apart from bait decks. I'm going to go B because it's pretty, I'd say underrated. I think. Skeleton Dragons, what are you even doing? Either remove them or just bit rework them, bro. They're, they're so bad. For four elixir, they, either make them three elixir or just give them a, a, a health buff or a damage buff. But then if they give them a health or damage buff, it's basically just like two baby dragons. So yeah, I think just make it three elixir. That would be a rework because they don't want to have like, two cards the same. You go, I mean, skeletons. I, everyone said everyone's putting a mess here. Everyone's saying they're amazing. I'm gonna say B, uh, sorry, A tier. They're solid. They're not that solid. They they get the job done for, for one elixir. I mean, what do you expect? Uh, barbarians. I'm gonna say C tier. They get countered by Fireball, and Fireball is one of the most popular spells right now. But they can counter some stuff. You know, giant giant graveyard. I guess could do a solid job defending that. Sparky, oh, I'm gonna go B. It does a lot of damage, but it can be countered very easily with Electro Wizard. Obviously, a lot of people have Electro Wizard. Um, yeah, here we go. Spear Goblins, very underrated. Uh, high skill to like counter like Peck or whatever. I'm gonna go B. They don't do too much damage, but they are pretty underrated. Tesla has been on top for so long. We're gonna go A tier. It's not S tier. It's not. It's not. Ah, uh, actually, no, it is S tier. It does so much damage and. Very fast fire rate, ish health. Obviously, with the building nerf to all buildings uh, recently, um, it did suffer a little bit, but it, it still counters Hog Rider, counters Ram Rider, counters Giant, counters Golem if you back it up with a Musketeer or, or say whatever, depending on what deck you're playing. The Log, Log, what a card, what a card. S tier, even after the nerf, like the crown tower damage, yeah, it has hurt it quite a lot. I'd have a look, I had a look earlier. My level 14 uh, log used to do 117 damage to the crown tower, which could help finish off some games in desperate situations. Now it does like 70, which is a bit disappointing, but it's still the knockback and killing it still kills skeletons the crown damage is only what's reduced the dam normal damage is fine mainly people use it for defense i've got fireball on my deck if you're not running a big spell in your deck um then seriously what are you doing um 
because yeah, you're not if you can't break through, you're, you're done. Three Musketeers, uh, D tier. They're they're so overrated. They get countered by like a fireball and log. I know people split them or a rocket if you predict it, lightning, whatever. Not good, not good. Tombstone, very underrated. Uh, probably just gonna have to go with a solid S tier. It, it can counter a Valkyrie. How can something that spawns skeletons, Valkyrie's like best target thing to target? How can it counter a Valkyrie? Well, it does. It's it's incredible. Um, Tornado, very. It can be a high school car. Act loads of King Tower activations. We're gonna go B though. It, it, it's whenever I use it on skeletons, like skeleton army or whatever, I kind of feel like I'm wasting it. Uh, Valkyrie, uh, low ladder, mid ladder, high ladder. Everyone uses this card, and for a good reason. Uh, it's solid. It's it's just solid. That's the. Um, the old picture there they've they've got a new one since which i prefer uh, let me know uh about supercell changing the uh icons of cards and some of the artwork what, what do you guys think i i think mo all of them have been good so if here we go wall breakers i'm gonna stick wall breakers in uh, b tier they're, they're hard to get onto the tower but when they do pack a punch here we go witch gonna put it in C tier. It, it can it can be very annoying to go against, especially if they have Mega Knight or Pekka or something, tanky in front, but on its own or just get us counter. Go Bats, pretty solid, everyone seems to say they're C tier or whatever, but I think Bats would still have a place. Here we go, the champions. Uh, well, straight away we can put Skeleton King in S tier, you guys know why, even with the nerf he's still gonna be one of the best champions. Uh, well, he is the best champion and one of the best cards. Archer Queen, I don't see a lot of people talking about her, but I still think she's good. I'm gonna put her in A tier. She can defend like a Pekka, she can defend like stuff by herself. Mighty Miner is solid, but he's B tier, he he's not the best. Golden Knight, right. I'm gonna put him B tier because he's, he's solid. But how does he always dash onto the tower without fail every single time? He always gets onto the tower, it's, it's crazy, I don't understand it, it's weird. Um, but there you go, that's the tier list of uh, every single Clash Royale card uh, in the game right now. Not with the current icons, so maybe it looks across, but... So S tier, we've got the Cannon, Firewall, Hog Rider, uh, cards. See, I'm seeing a lot of 2.6 cards in there. Uh, I have, <laughs> I've, I do play 2.6 sometimes myself. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one.